the one question that we have gotten more than any other over the course of the last couple of months is how should I price my home or condo in a correcting market? Well, that's a great question. And we're going to answer that with my three tips to make sure you properly price your property in a correcting market. If you've been paying attention to the housing market news, you know a couple of things are at play. Number one, there's a decrease in the total number of sales that are taking place. Number two, mortgage interest rates are on the rise. And number three, the total number of available properties on the market or total inventory levels also on the rise. So does this mean that we're headed for a housing market crash? Well, thankfully, according to the experts, the answer is no. Rather, what we're seeing is a correction in the market. We're moving away from a seller's market. It's not yet at a buyer's market, but we're more of a balanced market. So in a balanced or correcting market, how should you price your property for the fastest sale? How you doing? My name is Pete Dininger. I am the team lead and owner of the Breck Life Group right here in Breckenridge, and that's what we're going to cover today. Okay, my first tip seems obvious, but number one, do not price your home too high for current market conditions. I know that every seller wants to take advantage of the appreciation we've seen over the course of the last couple of years. But buyers today are very savvy and they have access to a lot of data. They know what properties in your neighborhood are already selling for. And so when you price your home too high, it will reduce the total number of showings that you have on your home. And what we have found is that when the feedback is that we are priced too high, we are often missing a segment of the market. And it, the time that it takes to sell your property can go from 30 days to 90 or 120 days or longer. And worst case scenario, you may find yourself in a position where the market continues to shift in a downward trend. And then you're doing what we call chasing the market. Every time you do a price reduction, the market has already moved to lower than the last sale. So what we don't want is to find you in a position where you are, you may even have to consider taking your home off the market and trying again later once the market has stabilized. Okay. Strategy number two is pricing your property slightly below market value. Now I know this may seem odd, but if you price your property slightly below market value, we have found that you will get more attention from buyers than the others in your area. And when you have competition, we have found that it may end up resulting in a sale at or even above market value we want to be seen as the most attractive property in your area. And strategy number three is the way to accomplish number one and number two is to work with a trusted real estate professional, someone experienced and knowledgeable in your specific area. The real estate professional has access to all the data, recent sales, pending sales, and they may even have an insider scoop to what pending sales are actually going to close for. So if you have that insider's knowledge, you'll be able to not only number one, avoid pricing too high, but you may be able to find what we call that Goldilocks price that that just exactly perfect price where you will get the most attention from buyers. It breeds competition and you could end up resulting in a sale above list price. So it's so important to take all three of these factors into consideration. If you are thinking about selling your Summit County or Park County property, don't hesitate to reach out. We have lots of strategies about not only pricing, but on how to strategically market your property to people that we know are looking for a home or condo exactly like yours. As always, send a text message, give us a call, send an email. We are here to help. Thanks so much. Enjoy your day.